Hi and welcome to another Free Willis episode. This is another chapter of my <laughs> makeup declutter saga within my um, makeup preset project. You can know all about it. I have a full playlist of this, but the main thing that I'm doing and I'm focusing on right now is decluttering my makeup collection just to rekindle my love for what I already have and revive my memory so that I don't fall prey as easily to the new stuff that may come out and who the thunk, I already have that in my collection. And today we're tackling kind of single eyeshadows and creams, liquids, Colourpop Super Shock, stuff like that, random bits and bobs that I had lying around that aren't actual singles, the ones that you can put in magnetized uh, palettes, but the other one, the other kind of eyeshadows. I still have to go through my stick eyeshadows, but those will go together with my eye pencil declutter, I think, because that makes more sense for me, for my organization, you know, I keep them all together. So yeah, I went through a lot of stuff today. I'm recording this after doing the declutter. That's why it's dark and weird, but that's life. But yeah, I'm super chuffed with the result. Um, yeah, keep in mind that my main goal is not to have a minimalistic collection. I'm not that kind of person. I really need a variety in my life. Some days I go with the most nude, no makeup makeup looks and sometimes I like to play with bright, sometimes I like to play with lots of glitters and textures so I'm gonna go through stuff and see what I want to keep around for the sake of that variety without keeping too much redundancy, going through old things that I was clinging on to. Some of them I'm so sad to see go but it's their time. So yeah, just keep that in mind. It's not one of those things where I become a makeup minimalist or anything. And I decide to do this in parts also because I want to review each product and show you at least a swatch or something of those products before I put them back in my drawer or get rid of them, just so that you have a little bit of, of a review before things go away. And yeah, if you have any doubts regarding any of the products, leave them in the comments below. And before we start the overhead kind of footage, just know that I would be very happy if you would like and subscribe to my channel. That means the world to me. And yeah, let's roll the tape and see how it went today. Okay, this is... Okay, this is ridiculous, uh, I know, uh, but let's start with some of the easiest ones for me. For instance, the Color Fixes by Demessa Myricks. Uh, they're very, fairly recent. I love these. These are like gouaches for your eyes and face and whatever. I have several colors. You can mix them. You can then put this kind of uh, gloss top coat. It's called the Glaze Lip and che Lip Cheek and Eye Gloss. You can put it on, on top of them and they do not crease or they haven't on me for now. I have several colors. I can mix them. Delightful. Love them. So these are staying for sure. And the same goes for these other colors uh, in other formulas. These are the glazes, uh, the colored ones. So I have one in cappuccino and this one is caramel. These look glossy off the top so you don't have to mix. And this one is a fairly recent one. It's in, I can't read this. Can I read? Do we not have a name? Yes, we do on the ballerina, which is an iconic color that I purchased recently. Thinking about it, I'm not the biggest fan of these of this formula, which is the more metallic formula from them. Um, this is the foils and this is a cream but with a metallic finish. I just don't think they are sh shiny enough uh, for me. They kind of look dried flakes on my skin. I'm not the biggest fan, so Milky Way and Ballerina are going. Another easy keep are these Lisa Eldridge Liquid Lurex uh, liquid eyeshadows. I really love this formula. Uh, my favorite off the bat are Emily, no, this is Zora, Emily, 
and this is uh, Liza, I think. Love these three colors. Liza is less shiny on the eyes, but still really, really beautiful. I don't use as much Bianca nor Angelica. So Bianca is the pinky one, Angelica is the other more uh, orangey undertoned, but I still love them. These I'm keeping. Another easy keep, these two by Hourglass. Nobody talks about these anymore, but these are some of the original glittery eyeshadow top coats, and I have mine in Ray, which is this more coppery color. And uh, what's your name? I think it's Smoke, the other one. Yeah, it's Smoke. These are the Scattered Light Glitter Effects. And these are gorgeous and they are so easy to apply and they shine like a diamond of course with my lights you can't see that but you will have to trust me on this and although these are old because they are in my collection they still perform beautifully they don't flake off they don't look weird they just give you that beautiful shine on the eye so these are staying and some recent purchases. Oh, there's a hair here, sorry. This is the Moon Dust Eyeshadow by Urban Decay in Space Cowboy. You know, this is my go to glass uh, effect. This has a bit of a peach undertone to it or base, but it's almost transparent on my skin tone, of course. There you go. And it's one of the best of its kind. You can use it as a topper, you can use it on its own of course, and it's absolutely gorgeous to give you that glass-like effect. So this is staying. Another one that is staying is, I don't see many people or hardly anyone talk about this. this is, these are the Dazzle Sticks by KVD Beauty. I know KVD is a bit on and off for most people, but these Dazzle Sticks, people shouldn't sleep on them. Mine is in Flash Storm, which is a purpley, taupey color. And this is gorgeous. It blends like a dream. It's super creamy, but then it does set. It doesn't crease on me. Just as a one-stop shot, very shiny, very, very shiny eyeshadow, cream eyeshadow. These are amazing. They have multiple colors. So if you're on the hunt for something like this, give them a go. <laughs> uh, these two are also staying because these are fairly recent to my collection. These are the Sephora Colorful Mono um, eyeshadows. This one is the Glitter Formula and it's in Twinkle Twinkle. And it's a beautiful, almost also a bit like Urban Decay, but whiter effect. Uh, it has that kind of sheer top coat effect, but you can build it up a bit more. And it is, wah, there you go, it's here, it's this one. It's absolutely gorgeous. As I said, it's lighter, but I'm thoroughly enjoying this one. This one is Shocko, what? Shock, 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 hmm. Shock, chock. <laughs> and this one is more of a brownie color. There you go. You can see it's beautiful. It has a bit of pink to it, or it's not completely brown. I wish if this was a, just a brown on its own, I would be all over it every single day uh, because it would be very close to 24 seven by Morphe, the one from the Jaclyn Hill palette, but this is one of those that I really like as a glossy brown. It's not as brown as it could be, still very glossy with that kind of very fine um, silvery sheen to it, so beautiful, staying. And now we start with the difficult ones. Oh, I'm keeping my Twin Flames, also by Danessa Myrex. Uh, no, no news there. These are fairly recent in my collection. I have True Love. You're kidding me, right? 
can't read this one, and this is Everlasting, which is my absolute favorite. So these are beautiful. These, again, are very shiny. I'm not going to swatch them just because they stick to the skin and they do not leave. So I'm trying to take it take it slow with the swatches because of that. But these, these do not leave your skin unless you really um, go in with uh, a cleanser afterwards. So, But these are fantastic. And I love the multi-chrome kind of effect that they have. The fact that they stay on the eyes, they don't go everywhere after a while, after drying down, some start flaking down. Not the case. Absolutely beautiful formula. These may dry down and or dry out, and I may not be able to use these uh, in a few months, maybe. But for now, they are still absolutely perfect. Now with the... Um Starting to cut off stuff. <laughs> this is by Urban Decay, and it's one of my favorite products that they've ever made. Uh, it's called the color. It's called Solstice. It has that red, reddish brown base with a metallic uh, reflect. But this is very old. It has dried out, uh, so it's gonna go. There are other things in my collection that are very similar, including including that Dazzle Glass. It's not as pinky as this, but still gives me kind of the same effect. So this was amazing as a topper. I don't know if they still do these, and it has rubbed off, so I can't tell you what it is. But anyway, this is one by Cover Effects. I think this came... I think a subscriber sent this to me. I don't want to lie. It's the Shimmer Veil. Uh, in Amethyst, and it's nice. I can't say bad things about it. It's still fresh and nice, but I don't, I don't use this as much because when it dries down, it kind of looks a bit more dull. And when I got it, I still give it a good amount of use, as you may see here. But uh, in the meantime, better formulas have come out, and Cover FX hasn't. As you can see, there is there is not as much as it seems to be inside here. But in the meantime, other formulas that really pique my interest have come out. And this is quite old also. So bye-bye um, and thank you for sending this to me. Uh, another very old one. This is the Stila, one of the many formulas. This is the Glitter and Glow, and it's the classic um, bronzed bell. It's a gorgeous uh, top coat with lots of glitters, very shiny, one of the first of its kind. But as I said, it's old, it has dried out, and Danessa Myricks has very similar formulas that last quite longer and in better shape on my aging lids than this. So this is going... These two by L'Oreal, these are called the Eye Paints of, again, subtle sheen on this lighter one, but it's a bit more of an iridescent, pearlized effect, very subtle. I don't use this. This is 205. It has a name. I can't read it. And this was a matte brown that I really like to use as an eye base, but it started drying out really quickly. So this is going to go. This is 306, the color. Really beautiful color. Again, don't know if they still do these formulas, but these are too old. They're going to go. I love these. And they started drying out way earlier than they should, especially for the price. These are Nude Sticks Magnetic Eye Colors. Uh, one is Angel, which is the beigey with a little bit of pearl to it. Where do I put you? There you go. Has a bit more of a peach undertone to it. Here it is. Should I? Let me see. Maybe you can see this a bit better like this. And this one is uh, Smoke. It's such a beautiful color. But again, they're getting a bit dry. When you apply them to the lids, they become patchy. So these are going. I have loads of other eyeshadow sticks that are not in here. These are just the boxes that had the the pot shadows and stuff like that. So I'm going, I'm decluttering these at this time. But then when I get to my little 
cups and glasses with my eyeshadow sticks, that's when the big eyeshadow stick declutter will happen with my other eye pencils. But for now, these are just here, so I'm getting rid of these right now. This is Skinnery. Skinnery? I don't know. Eyeshadow with vitamin E and does it have a name for the color? It doesn't say. But as you know, I can't read. Uh, very small lettering without my glasses, so I can't say for sure. It's nice. Uh, it's a nice yellow based brown, but it has a bit of sheen to it, like a very slight metallic -y frosting, but I don't use it, so it's going to go. This one was amazing, but again, it dried out super quickly. Look at that. You can see it uh, here. It's not, it's it's just detaching from the edges. This is again from Nude Sticks. This is Queen Olive, the most perfect. Uh -huh. There's not even anything coming off on my skin. Can you see that? It's the most perfect olive color, but these dry out too quickly. I wouldn't recommend the Nude Sticks eye sticks. Just, just saying that. These from NYX, uh, the jumbo eye pencils. I like to keep the white one for um, as a base for you know the pastel -y shades, something that needs a bit more of a a lighter base for the eyes. So I'm keeping the jumbo in white or milk. Is it milk? It's milk. But I'm gonna gonna get rid of yogurt just because it's a beautiful color. It's getting a bit too dry and its reflection is gonna, it's kind of dulled down at this point. And it's patchy and it's dry and it's old, so it's gonna go. This, this is the only fluid eye paint I have from About Face. And this one is in, not even with my glasses, I can't read this. Hidden green, maybe? But this is a very muted, very desaturated, very gray, almost clay-like green. It is a very good formula um, and it melts really well on the skin. I want to keep it for now. I just hope that Cult Beauty get their act together when it comes to having these kind of brands that they don't stock up on the new products. I don't know what's with that. I'm just going to keep this. It's not one of those colors that I wear a lot, but I like to have it as a base for something. Um, but yeah, beautiful formula though. I wish I could try some other colors, but Cult Beauty needs to restock. So out of my hands. This one is by e.l.f. When I was in London last year, I tried I tried a few things and this is something that I bought. This is the Liquid Glitter Eyeshadow. Again, I wanted kind of an olivey color. Dirty Martini is the name of the color. Um, this is patchy AF when blended on the lids, basically. it It is a beautiful color when you see it swatched like this, but then when starting to blend out, it starts to patch up and it looks weird and you just get loose kind of glittery bits here and there. It's not the most homogenous or even application. Uh, I don't need this. This is a pigment by Sample Beauty that I got in a sale and I, I don't have many pigments, but this is very special color. I'm just going to show it to you. As you can see, oh, it shows quite more green, I think, on camera, at least from what I'm seeing, but it is a dusty blue. Can I swatch this without making a mess? I'm going to make a mess, but come on, it's for you guys. It is a beautiful, you need a base for this, of course, but it's a beautiful dusty blue with reflex. I haven't played with this enough. I'm going to give it another season and then we'll revisit. I don't use pigments that much, but uh, this one I really, I really am in love with the color. It is that dusty blue that then has those minty gold reflections. We'll see. We'll see. 
It's gonna, it's gonna stick around for another season. We'll see. Okay, this is staying. I forgot to put it here. Suva Beauty Hydra Fix. These are water activated eyeliners. This is the only one that I have from this type, and I love this. And during summer, I've used this a couple of times. This color or this coupling of colors is called Doodle D. Doodle D. And I really enjoyed using this, had so much fun. These are very bright. On camera, they are showing far more muted than they actually are. These are fluorescent and they're so much fun. So this is staying, at least for now, as long as they stay good, I'm good because I like this. This is MAC Groundwork. It's an iconic product. As you can see, everybody knows this, or almost everybody. It has been dug into, it's starting to dry down, but it still performs really well. It's pretty effortless still. It doesn't patch up when blending, or maybe a bit. Yes, it is patching up a bit when blending the edges here. I was gonna keep it, but I'm gonna get rid of it. Um, uh, yeah. Uh. Now, this is a magnet. I don't know where it came from, but fine. <laughs> From Colourpop, this is their Creme Shadow in Prickly Poppy. And it's a strange colour because it has a brown base, but then it has a few scattered shimmers, uh, quite goldeny, I'd say. I like this. It's still performing. It's still blending. It's not dried out. So I'm going to give it another season. This one is the Color Tattoo by Maybelline in Socialite. It's a nice color, but I don't use these rose goldy colors that much, and it's starting to dry out. I've used this quite a lot, as you can see. I've depotted it, um, so it's time for it to go. I'm trying not to think too much, or I'll start hesitating. This is the Revlon Colorstay Creme Eyeshadow in 710 Caramel. Or caramel. And again, oh, this is still very creamy. This is beautiful. Can you see it? It's a beautiful shade. I think this one can handle another season. We'll see how many of these I'm keeping at the end. These browny, shiny shades. Now, this one is also staying. This is by Beauty Bay. I think this was limited edition, which is Pretty stupid because they could have made lots of money uh, making this permanent. This is their pressed eye pigment and this color is Air. I featured this in a favorites video. Oh, and it's a gorgeous duochrome kind of color. It's a pink base with some lilac -y blue shift. It's gorgeous, it looks amazing, and it's subtle enough uh, so that some people that are more afraid of more impactful colors to kind of dabble their toes into this without feeling too oppressed by uh, this kind of product. It's still sheer enough that it works, you know, as kind of a, a subtle glow when you just move your head around. So it's really beautiful. I hope they had, I wish they had this. Bringing out the towel and the micellar water. Here we go. Oh, I'm absolutely covered in glitter, but m let's keep on carrying on. This is by Burberry, and this is one of their iconic colors that I got on, out on sale. It's called Pale Barley. And let's talk about this shade. Pale Barley is a gorgeous, pale, beigey taupe color with a bit of a reflection to it, a bit of some satin finish to it. Can you focus on my finger? Thank you. So this is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. The thing is on my lids, and you can see it here a bit, you can see that it becomes a bit powdery, which emphasizes some dryness. I'm going to keep it for now, and because despite being on sale, this was quite expensive, and it's not that old in my collection, but I must say, as just as a review for you all, if you're looking for a single shadow within these kinds of tones, and Burberry, I must say, has some of my favorite packaging, 
this one. Uh, but this, I don't know, it would flatter someone with a bit more aging lids or someone with a bit more texture or dryness on the, on the lids. Just letting you know. It's not that one-stop shop uh, product that I was hoping it would be. This one. Um, this one I got because, again, I was, I am still actively looking for a dupe of 24-7 from the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. That is the most beautiful, perfect brown that looks glossy. And it doesn't look um, bronze or coppery. It just looks like a glossy brown, which is something I don't see anywhere. And this was suggested on Temptalia's website as one of the closest matches. This is Mulch from MAC. No, this is not it. I don't know. I don't know if she pulled out both colors to compare them. There is that kind of slightly yellow undertone to it, but this is far more dull. The reflection on this one comes from a coppery shimmer. So this one, despite being fairly new in my collection, I'm going to pass it on to someone else that can love it properly. <laughs> this I bought. Uh, this was my last Colourpop order, I think, many, many months ago. I've been behaving and not buying lots of Colourpop stuff, case in point. Uh, I have enough. <laughs> <laughs> but this is a restock of A Little Quirky, which is my favorite ColourPop eyeshadow. Mine was getting all used up and dry. I don't know if I have it around here, but I will show it if it's still here. Or I don't know if I've decluttered it. But this is its still fresh. I'm going to show it to you right now. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Look at that. It's just a one-stop shop kind of eyeshadow. I adore this. It has, again, that peachy, slightly rosy um, base, but the shine on this is incredible. There you go. There's the shine showing through. And this is basically one of my all-time favorite ColourPop eyeshadows. Uh, and I'm basically opening this up now because I know the other one is completely... <laughs> gone and done so yeah of course this is staying it's new here it is i found a little quirky uh this is going in the bin just because the little bit that is left over it's not performing anymore it's dried out so i'm gonna get rid of it and i'm gonna just open the new one Okay, when I was looking for dupes for 24-7, I bought so many of these ColourPop uh, Super Shocks. Always on the lookout for the perfect dupe. None of them turned out to be the perfect dupe. So here I'm swatching Abbott Kinney. This one is Bouncy. I don't know which, one of the, which ones of these are still available. Bouncy is a bit dried out. I think I'm going to get rid of Bouncy. Oh, it's gorgeous, though. This one is Free Rain. This is not it. This one is Nillionaire with the Nen. Prickly Pear, which is way lighter and pinkier and is completely dried out. So the Prickly Pear is going to go, I think, for sure. And this is Cosmic Charge, another beautiful, very shiny brown. This has been battered and used and is also losing its superpower. So probably going to get rid of it, but here you go. For reference, <laughs> who needs these many brownie shades? And this one, this is Bandit and it's a matte. Ah, it's dry. Look at this rich brown matte. This is a very ready brown, but it's such a gorgeous thing. So I'm going to make some executive decisions here. Ah. Uh, I'm going to keep Cosmic Charge, although it's a bit dry. 
and I'm going to keep bouncy. Do I want to keep this one? Free rain. It's dry. It's feeling really dry. This is going to look patchy on the eyes. So this one, this one, it's like this. And Abbott Kinian. I'm going to get rid of these. Up next, let's go with these shimmery colors. Okay, looking into the shimmers, I have I Heart This. As I said, since I've discovered uh, a little quirky, everything else kind of pales in comparison. Although they look really beautiful as swatches, then they don't perform as well on my eyes, but we'll see. This one is Ladybird. Oh, gorgeous. It's more of a pressed glitter than anything else. Oh, uh, what am I going to do? This is Ritz, an iconic eyeshadow. Highly recommend. This is very dry, though. I may, if I remember. Oh, look at it. If I remember when doing another order from Colourpop, I'll get another Ritz because this is a bit dry. And this is Frog, another gorgeous eyeshadow. This is very dry. Yeah, this is dry as hell. This one, I have no doubts of getting rid of. So I'm going to get rid of this one. Uh, I heart this. And I'm going to get rid of Ritz. And I'm going to get rid of Frog. But I want to repurchase Ritz if they still have it. But there you go. They still are performing quite well. I just don't use them as much. And... Yeah, I'm trying to be reasonable. I'm going to start by swatching these, which are my absolute favorite colors from the bunch. And then I'm going to see how all the other ones are and see if I still want to keep them. This is my favorite, one of my favorite all-time favorite colors by Colourpop. This is Bubble Bee. I don't think they have this anymore. And I'll be heartbroken when I have to get rid of it. But I think, yes, it can still endure another season. Uh, it's a beautiful bright yellow orange. Usually oranges are too reddish burnt for my liking. But this, this screams summer for me. This is another one that I absolutely love. Again, for the summer. Oh, I see a crack. Oh, no, it's so dry. Oh, no. I love it, but I'm not going to push it. This is Don't Leave. It's a bright fuchsia. You can see why I like it, but it's it's not... It's not with us anymore. So, bye-bye. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sad. Mm -hmm. This is Isa. It's a beautiful, deep, um, dark purple. It has a bit more of a pink undertone or red undertone than blue, but it, it has that blue shift. Isa is gorgeous and it's still absolutely creamy. Happy for that. It's staying. This one is Ripple. Oh dear Lord, it looks so dried out. I've used these a lot, but yeah, this is very dry. Oh, look at that beautiful orchid, vibrant orchid pink with so much blue shifting purple into it. When smeared on my arm, it looks absolutely gorgeous, but I wouldn't be able to do this on my eyes without ripping my eye out. So... Oh, I'm so sad to see it go. Maybe Ripple still exists in Colourpop collection. Who knows? This is another all-time favorite. It's a matte. It's the mixtape color, which is this just taupey, grayy or grayish kind of lavender. Oh, it's still creamy. Yay, I'm so happy. 
It's still creamy. I have to pull this one out more often, especially in the winter time. It is a matte. It still has that kind of creamy sheen, which I pretty much enjoy. So I'm pretty chuffed to see that it's still, still with us, still alive. And this one is coconut, which is an iconic blue. I haven't used it. Oh, it's so creamy. Oh, so beautiful. Yes. Just bl patting it on so that you can see. It's a beautiful kind of black based blue, it has a bit of teal to it. It's a beautiful color. So it is staying, fortunately is still there. Then I really love this one. This is Paradox. It's so old, my friends. It's not gonna be alive, is it? Oh, actually, it is. Look at this beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous color that is still with me. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, Paradox. It's a beautiful red. Nobody wears red eyeshadow. But this is my favorite color. If you want to go warm, go red for me. <laughs> no oranges, no bronzes, no coppers. Go just straight red. Love it. This is Cuteologist. It is a red base with... Oh, it's completely dry. It's not even coming out. It's... it's I poop on you. I don't care. Okay? Okay. I respect that you want to leave us. Drift. It's a wine, shimmery wine color. It's more common to find this kind. When you go for a red, this is usually what they offer you. I'm not a big fan. Nah, it's going to go. This one is Seeker. It seems to have dried out a bit because it's separating. It has shrunken down and it's pretty dry. It's a beautiful warm brown, brown just with an N but uh, I'm not going to keep it. This is DGAF. It is a red brown base with some green gold reflection. Again, one of those or more orangey colors that most people will love. I don't give it enough love because I'm not into this kind of color. As I said, if I want a red, I want a red. Uh, and this is too bricky for me. I'm gonna pass it along. It's still working fine. This one is, oh. This one, if it's not, if it's not alive still, I'm gonna be so sad. This is Mittens. Oh, it looks dry. Mittens is such a perfect, perfect color. Look at that. Look at that, it's chocolate. It is dry. <laughs> uh, it was, so, I did so many amazing looks with this, but you can see when I, I have to press really hard with my finger to get it to show up. So I know this is not good. Should I try to revive it with Duraline? You can try to revive the eyeshadows with Duraline, by the way, by Inglot. Uh, but should I try to do that or should I just let go? Let it go. Singing like Elsa, I would if I could sing. This is Weenie. This is from Kathleen Lights, I think. The, one of her first... It's still there. <laughs> their shimmers are wet and still looking amazing and fine and dandy after ye several years. But this is a copper. I don't do coppers, so this is going to go. Trois. Again, another very old collection. If you remember, Trois. <laughs> you know how old this is. Completely dried out, like their mattes tend to do. And this is a beautiful color called Kennedy. But probably, let me clean, probably dried out. Yeah, it feels pretty dry. It's not transferring at all, so bye-bye. Bye. This one is Bow Down. Bow Down. Oh, it's dry. It's dry. Ah, it's, this, oh, uh, 
it feels it feels wrong it feels it just feels wrong no no i don't like you go away just with the dry cloth it went away so that's how dry it was this is lace beautiful deep blue based purple dry yeah pretty dry and patchy it's gonna go this is gonna this is a purge this is an actual purge my friends can we see the ones that we're keeping and this last one is golden hour and i don't do golds i don't know what came to me or if i saw something in the website that made me think differently it's still delightfully dewy and creamy someone is gonna love use this using this but uh, no no it's not for me it's not for me so it's gonna go okay so all of these are go oh dear lord all of these are i don't want to see this one go i don't want to see this one go i don't want to see these three go ugh ugh Ugh. okay i was happy with them while it lasted i just have to find this bright magenta and ah uh, this beautiful orchid maybe they still have ripple and don't leave mittens i'm pretty sure they don't make anymore okay an easy one to let go this is nyx the roll-on shimmer i don't know what i was thinking but this it still works it still works but this is just fallout city because it doesn't have any binders so uh, this color is blue <laughs> nice <laughs> concise but <laughs> i'm gonna pass it on see if someone still wants to get get a go at this maybe not this is too old i'm not gonna pass this on i may give someone an eye infection what am i thinking this color by kiko it was a special edition it was their metallic shine eyeshadows can you look at the art deco decoration on the packaging such elegance and it's a beautiful midnight blue it's still jesus this is absolutely epic it is a very black base blue but you when you shift your skin you can see the blue reflection on there it's absolutely gorgeous but my friends it's time has come it served me well but it's gonna go it's it's one of those that i i really want to find something close to it to keep using because this is this is very special and it lasted me too long <laughs> this is by l'oreal it's their in color infallible do they still do these or is it just in portugal that they don't exist anymore or is it just everywhere this is all night blue another beautiful beautiful blue eyeshadow it's a bit i can feel it it's almost the same as the kiko one it's a bit less black based a bit more blue off the bat but it feels a bit flaky to the touch it's not as emollient as it used to be so it's gonna go although i really wanted to keep a really dark midnight blue eyeshadow in this kind of formula because it's so easy to work with let me know of suggestions if you have something like this that you think i sh i would like because both of mine are going and coconut here is way lighter and more green based this one this is one of my all-time favorite colors let's see if it's still working oh it's still very creamy this is by chanel it's one of the basically always limited edition illusion d'ombre and it's called diapason number 92 still performs pretty well but i have lisa eldridge eyeshadows that perform a bit better i'm not going to use this am i i'm not i'm saying goodbye to a chanel eyeshadow limited edition but i'm doing it feels right which is i don't use it anymore so there you go 
And this is not an eyeshadow. Again, this should be decluttered at another stage with my eyeliners. I don't have many. I have potted eyeliners. I have two. Let's do that declutter right now, which is the Maybelline uh, Eye Studio Lasting Drama Gel Eyeliner in black. Everybody knows this. I actually love the brush that comes with this. Uh, I get amazing, precise um, application with it. I know it depends on the person and their eye shape and the way they use their hands. But I love this little pot. I don't do gel eyeliner very frequently, but when I do, I like to have this. It's affordable, it's long wearing. I can set it with a little bit of black uh, eyeshadow if I want to, but usually I don't need that. Now this, this is my all time favorite color from ColourPop. It's their gel eyeliner in Mr. Bing, again, developed by Kathleen Lights. And it's still, it's still going. It's still going! I'm so happy! I know this looks like a dull brown, but the undertones, it's very similar to Jaclyn Hill's 24-7, without the shine, of course, but it's the same kind of base of red, yellow, brown. I love it. I'm glad that it still exists. So this is staying. This is staying. And this is, this is it. This is it. Yay! Okay, friends, I found a couple of products that were misplaced. These are two pigments that I, w I kept lying around, and I haven't used them in a while. This one is the Inglot AMC Pure Pigment Eye uh, Shadow in 14, I think. I tried it here with a wet uh, brush. It still performs beautifully. There's plenty of it, so I can pass it along to someone that really loves it. I don't use this kind of stuff anymore. I much prefer a liquid or cream eyeshadow. And the same goes for this. This is a Starlit Diamond Powder by uh, Makeup Forever. I think the color is 111 or HJ01. There are too many numbers in this in this little jar. But I tried it and I, I can hardly show it to you, but it's really scattered. You cannot build it up easily. Not a fan. I'm gonna get rid of both. And then I thought about it again. I tried it on my hand. I really love this effect from the Danessa Myricks um, Twin Flames. This is an Amour but I don't use it and I don't think I'm gonna use it. I much prefer the scattered glitter ones that she has in this formula. This kind of more iridescent, duochrome liquid that just looks really flat and editorial on the skin. It looks amazing, but it's not something that I'm, I'm gonna use, so this one is gonna go also. Found more because, because, uh, anyway, this is by Catrice, um, uh, probably limited edition. It was nice, it didn't wow me. It's pretty flaky and it looks dulled down once applied to the lids. It's going. Elsa Essence Melted Chrome Eyeshadows. These are really good and I'm gonna pass them on to someone that can really appreciate them. Uh, they look really beautiful and you can build them up. So it looks really nice. This one is a bride bright almost foiled eyeshadow as i said very similar to the sephora ones i'd say these are by kiko these are the smart smart color eyeshadows this is number seven it's a taupey metallic color again feels a bit dull once applied on the skin i really need to buff it with my finger to make it look this sheeny which means that on the eyes it will look a bit powdery and this is number 09 I'm gonna try it on this side of my hand and it's a weird grayish color I don't know what what I was thinking maybe it looked really interesting with the lighting in the store but in real life, this does not suit my skin tone at all. And finally, Urban Decay Desperation. Ugh, it's a satin color. It's a deep charcoal -y color. Ugh, it's nice, there's nothing wrong with it, but I'm not using it and I'm not planning on using it. Uh, if I want something like this, I have the black from Lisa Eldritch Vega palette, which is not a, 
an absolute black, so you can bring it down to this. So yeah, I'm getting rid of these six singles also. Hopefully, while putting everything back in my drawers, I don't find anything else because I want to wrap this video up. So, yes. Now I'll see you in the final countdown. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Let's put all of my babies back in business and see what I'm left with. I'm looking at what I'm keeping uh, at all of these and I think I can still narrow down this a little bit. My friends, here they are, the chosen ones. These are the final cream and single pot eyeshadows that I'm keeping and I'm super chuffed. Um, I have gone through everything again just to make sure I was weeding out as much redund redundancy as I could and I'm so happy with the final look. I think this is far more <laughs> condensed than I, what I used to have and I'm super happy that now this is it. And yeah, um, so I'll let you know about the numbers and stuff in the outro. So yeah, let's skip to that part. Bye! So it's done. <laughs> it was hard uh, and it was time consuming, but I'm so happy with the results. The numbers are staggering because overall, I had no idea. I had so many of these single one pot or one little tube eyeshadows. I thought they were far less. And then when I started digging and collecting them all in one place, I realized, oh my word. And I realized that I cling on to stuff for way longer, cling on uh, for way longer than I should. It's completely unnecessary. I move on to other things. I forget these things exist. So I'm really happy with the selection that I've kept. Of course, those are still a lot of eyeshadows. I've counted them. Some of them, a good part, are the color fixes by Danessa Myrex, which are kind of playtime eyeshadows but then I have the other ones which are my one and done eyeshadows. I take them out with my finger, apply them and I don't have to think a lot and when I'm in a hurry that's the kind of stuff that I go for so it's something that I use very often but I still need the variety within that category you know. So overall I'm pretty chuffed. I will revisit these products later on and see if I still want to keep them but for now this is my selection. I'm still keeping a whopping number of 32 eyeshadows and three liners. Uh, those pot liners that I showed you, the water activated ones and the classic gel ones. And 32 eyeshadows, which is still a lot, but as I said, part of that is Danessa Myrick's Color Fixes, which is playtime for me. It's creativity and exploring and playing. And the rest are just one and done eyeshadows that I really, really like and use a lot. But most of all, I'm getting rid of 53 eyeshadows, my friends. 53 eyeshadows and two pigments. So overall, 55 eyeshadows, basically. I have no words. I was hoarding. I was hoarding stuff. Um, some I'm very sad to see go because some of those color pop colors were just my all-time favorite. But they're not performing anymore. I have to find something else that is like them because, as I said, I looked and saw around my collection if I had things that could kind of replace them. And not that much. ColourPop Super Shock Shadows are pretty special. Let me just tell you, I got rid of a lot of them and they do dry out and it's useless to keep a big collection like I had 
because you're not going to use them up before they dry down. But they are still an amazing formula, super original. If you want something very shimmery and glowy without having problems with fallout and stuff like that, those are really very affordable options to go for, If especially if you live in the US and you don't have to endure the shipping and custom stuff that sometimes comes with ordering some stuff from Colourpop. But Anyway, I was hoarding too much, super happy with this kind of cleanse <laughs> that I did of my drawers and I have so much space, I can't even believe it and yeah, I'm completely super satisfied. I will revisit for sure but for now I'm super happy. If you are still here after all of this, thank you so much. I'm so grateful for those of you who watch till the end, it's always a bit sad when you see that people quit your video after five minutes or something like that and you've been recording for hours but such as YouTube and yeah if you have enjoyed this video if this has been helpful informative entertaining in any way please consider leaving me a like and if you haven't and you want to see more from me please consider subscribing and as usual thank you for spending your time on me and I'll see you on my next video bye